Tom B. Speed. Do I agree? Oh, yeah, I agree. I'm not changing the narrative. I mean, this is what these channels are using right now. That um, what beats speed? See, because they because they know they can't lie to themselves. They can't lie to them. They can't say this. They can't say Errol Spence is faster than Manny Pacquiao. They can't say that because they'll look really stupid and dumb. <laughs> right? So they can't say that because we all know Manny's faster than Errol Spence. That's a fact. And your fact is timing beats speed. Okay. All right. What's up? Shut up. You understand where I'm coming from? Let me tell you, explain this shit for you. Come over here, let me talk to you. This is what I'm trying to say to you. How much time do you have in the ring to get the right timing to get Manny Pacquiao? How much, let me repeat myself, Hulk Hogan style. Huh? How much time you got in the ring to get on the right time to get Manny Pacquiao? Because it took Marquez 63 rounds. Right? It took him 63 rounds. So, Keith Thurman, he had footage of Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather. He can look at that 300 times and try to figure out Manny Pacquiao. And, and, and he can could, he could lie to himself and say, I got this. I got this. I know his movements. I know how everything goes. I, I, I know it. Right? But when you get in that ring, my dude, you think you know. But when the speed comes... And, and the speed is not just pure speed. It's, it's, it's unrhythm speed. Awkward speed. Okay? So, I don't care all this shit about time and beat speed. That's the narratives these channels want to use. But how much time do you have for you to get the right timing? Because see, when Manny Pacquiao was fighting Keith Thurman, it took um, he took him... It took a while, but then he started catching on. He started catching on. He started hitting Manny Pacquiao. He started getting flushed hits to the face. Right? But, yeah, time and be speed. But, another thing. Do Errol Spence have the power? Do Errol Spence have the power? Because you telling me that he's knocking people out. Um, you telling me that, oh, he knocked down Porter. That was a flash knockdown. And guess what? Broner did the same thing to Sean Porter. Nothing. Not, uh, just a flash knockdown, man. So that, that ain't nothing, man. Okay? Because Keith Thurman could thump. And he was getting his timing at the end of the rounds. At the And when it, when it got to a point where he said, oh, okay, I see how he's moving. That's why I say, I'm going to be honest. See, this is, this is not bias talk. I'm going to be honest. I think that if Keith Thurman get another fight with Manny Pacquiao, he will punch his clock. I'm just being honest, man. But when y'all keep telling me this time be time be speed, I'm like, yeah, but how much time do you have to figure that shit out? Because Keith Thurman, he got knocked down in the first round. And he's like, okay, okay, what? Uh-huh. Shut up. Again, thinking that you know what you know, but you don't know until you get in that in that ring and get that unrhythm, the unrhythm balance, the unrhythm um quickness of Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Packer have not seen nothing under the sun, my dude. He not he don't see nothing under the sun. There's nothing new. What is so spectacular about Aerosmith? Tell me, tell me something that's very spectacular. He's got awkward footwork. Um, do he have speed? Um, he has a jab. Oh, okay. You say he has a jab. Okay. Well, we got two southpaws in the ring. Yes, we do, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. We have two southpaws in the ring. And um, when it comes to these southpaws. What else do we have in the front of a southpaw? A liver shot. And this is my prediction. You know, I wasn't going to break this fight down. I wasn't going to break it down. Um, but I'm going to break it down because I don't know if this fight's going to ever happen. Okay? I really don't. Um, liver shots. On both sides. We got to worry about. On both sides. Okay? Um, what do Arrow do? He goes back in a straight line. That's a no-no fight in Manny Pacquiao. That's a no, 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 no. You can't do that with Manny Pacquiao. Second, Errol Spence don't move his head. He don't. Third, he's wide. Now I see why he said. Now I see why Manny Pacquiao said he remind him. Um, Spence reminds him of Joshua Kalati because I see the body frame, right? I see the wide shoulders. Yo, I don't know what y'all seeing, man. I don't know what you're seeing. Spence don't got the power. 
I'm telling you right now, overrated. Because he should have knocked down. And don't you ever come to me talking about, oh, he just wanted to show his IQ. Because I was, I, you know what? Let me find a video, man. Let me find a video showing that Errol Spence had an interview saying, I'm going to knock out Mikey Garcia. I know you know you heard that. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. Don't play with me, man. I hate this. I hate when I get all hyper like this, man. Because y'all playing these games with this timing and speed shit. This timing and speed shit. Y'all need to stop, man. Because that's the only and that's the only argument you have. If that's the only that's the same shit they had with Danny Garcia. Some of these channels, oh, if Danny was to fight Manny Pacquiao, he might get lucky with that with that close my close your eyes shot that he, he gave to certain other boxers. It's not gonna happen, man. It's not gonna happen. Manny Pacquiao's too experienced. Whatever you whatever you show him, it's nothing under the sun. Um he he learned from getting knocked down. Knocked out from Marquez. He learned. He can he contributed to his own knockout. Hipping and hopping. Hipping and hopping. Hip. Then he hopped into it. And Marquez had the right shot at the right time. And he timed it. And bam. Manny Pack can contribute to his own knock knockout. Hopping in and him throwing that punch at the right time. But it took 63 rounds. As a matter of fact, in that fight, Manny Pacquiao, before that knockdown, that knockout, I'm sorry, he got knocked down in some early rounds with a flush hit. Got right back up because he got the chin. He got the chin. He got the chin, bro. When he fought Thurman, that know how to thump, he got the chin. He might be old, but he got the chin. So I don't know what you're talking about, man. Y'all need to stop it. What if this fight, if this fight gets signed, sealed, and delivered? You're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see these channels start to be like, oh man. They're gonna get worried, yo. You're gonna get worried, man. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm just I'm just talking the facts on the styles of Manny Pacquiao and Errol Spence. Oh nigga, you're a coon. You don't like Errol Spence. No, I do like Errol Spence, but guess what? I think Ennis Boost will be Errol and Crawford. You know why? Because of his style. Am I a, I'm a coon because I like in his boots to beat Errol and Crawford? This is about styles, dude. Okay, y'all keep that bias shit. Bias is going to be here in the United States. Regardless if I don't want to think about being biased, America always remind me of being biased. It is what it is, man. But I'm talking about the style. Style is not good for Errol Spence. Shit is ridiculous, man. Yo, I, I swear, Manny, please just sign it. Cause you know another thing, you know this virus shit that's going on. I know you want to fight Gregor. I know you want to do it for your country. I have no problem with that. I won't even be mad if you decide to fight um, McGregor. He's a southpaw. Fine, that could, you could use the excuse say I want to tune up, and I'm gonna use him. I won't fight Mikey. I'll use him. I think, uh, and, 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 and whatever, whatever. I know they want you to drop the belt. That's a whole different story. But to, honestly, with this virus, virus from UK, virus from Africa, they saying this shit is mutating. Um, we don't know if we're going to have to take shots. They don't even know if the, the, if the virus in Africa, the shots that we getting now is good enough to take for the, the, the shots that's mutating. We might be taking shots for the rest of our life. Man, for this mutation of this virus, man. Time is too short, bro. Time is too short. Go for Errol Spence. Once you go for Errol Spence and you get the, you get the other two belts, brother, you can take all the exhibition fights you want. My brother, you can take all the exhibition fights you want. It's an exhibition fight. Easy work. But get this done now. Get this done. Jump on him. And that's why I don't understand. Manny Pacquiao, what do you get out of saying? Um, this is why I have a problem with Manny Pacquiao. What do you get saying out in public? He looks, Errol Spence looks slower after the accident. What do you get out of that? See, this is where I don't understand it. But we saw pause and we play mind games. We, we play tricks. We, we see things differently. So I don't know where you're getting at with that, right? 
I really don't. I, Cause I, like I said in my other video, you a boss. You don't gotta reply to nobody. Just, just give me my money, man, and we could do this down. So you know, you saying that the only thing I, I don't have respect for you saying that is because these fans out here, if you whip his ass and you put a a, a, a can of whip ass on Errol Spence, you know what the excuse is? Well, Manny did say he looked so after the accident, and that's the only reason why he took the fight. Stu stupidy talk like that, man. I, I ain't got time for that, man. Once you get in that ring, you sign, you seal, you deliver. It's a wrap. Dan Danny and Arrow went and they did their thing successfully, and that's it. He didn't. He didn't knock out Danny. He didn't. He didn't knock out um Mikey. So I, I the the power is questionable. And like I said, don't talk. Don't don't send me no comments talking about. Oh, he was just gonna show an IQ that he could beat um uh Mikey. No. He did say in an interview, I might look it up and put it in this video. He did say he wanted to knock out Mikey Garcia. So that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Hold on. Yeah, that's a wrap. So how do I feel about, like I said, no head movement. He goes back in a straight line, Errol Spence. Um, he's slow. I've been said he was slow in the Sean Porter fight. He got good timing. Manny Pacquiao is different. He don't smother his punches like Sean Porter. Okay? And he got experience on his side. Besides, see, this is the thing that people lack. He has speed. He don't have the speed that he used to. He runs out of gas after a certain round of rounds. But the one thing, he got experience. And what comes with experience? Setting traps. Man, he got so many traps for you, man. It's a wrap, bro. The bear trap is about to be, you're going about to be trapped, man. And, and another thing, what I predict in this fight, I predict that Manny is going to hit. That's to say, this is facts, right? Okay, Errol Spence is going to hit Manny Pacquiao. That's a fact. Is, is Manny going to hit Errol? If that's a fact, that's a true fact. But this is another fact. This is another fact. Whoever, whoever fights Manny Pacquiao, they face get lumped the fuck up. Yeah? That's a motherfucking fact. Everybody that fights Manny Pacquiao, they face get lumped the fuck up. Okay? I, I'll exclude Broner um, because he, he knew how to hold Manny Pacquiao when he was a... See? He learned a little bit from Mayweather. You know, he learned a little bit from Mayweather when he was on those ropes. Hold that fucking juggernaut. Hold that juggernaut. Do not let him... Don't let him get juggernaut on you. Don't let him get juggernaut on you. So, you know, he didn't, he didn't get up that bad. He didn't get messed up that bad. But everybody else, everybody else got lumped up. So, since we're talking about getting lumped up, Errol Spence, is your face ready for this? Because if it's not, and you get something ripped, it's so funny when I saw Errol Spence got uh, from Danny Garcia when he got hit in the jaw and his mouthpiece went like that. And my man Errol went like, yeah? Is that is that my is that my mouthpiece or something else um open up in my in my jaw? He had that look in his face, man. Listen, I predict in this fight, after watching Sean Porter and Errol Spence, there was a lot of low blows. A lot of low blows from Errol Spence. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. The awkwardness, the awkward, because Sean Porter is an awkward fire. He has he got bounced on his shit. He just smothered his punches, right? But he got bounced on his shit. I like Sean Porter. I think he's still growing. Um, other than that, it showed me something. More than it showed anything more than Danny Garcia or this one and that one. No. Brother. I think you might go out with a cut. I might think you might go out with a cut. Honestly. So, I think you need to know one thing. And let's make this clear. Time and beating speed. Yes, time always be speed. But how much time do you have? Okay, another thing. Another thing. Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn was manhandling Manny Pacquiao. Yes, he was. He was. That's that. Is that what we thinking? Is that what we talking about? Because that's why I see there's going to be low blows. Because Errol Spence cannot take that kind of awkward movement. I've seen it with Porter. 
right? A lot of low blows with Porter. So I'm thinking that's going to happen with Manny Pacquiao. And if I was Manny Pacquiao, when you get a low blow, take advantage of the low blow. And suck. If it's four or five minutes, take the whole fucking five minutes, man. If it's, it's whatever minutes it is that you could recoup, take it to reset your speed. That's it. So if that's what's going to happen between these two subpoors, so let it be it. And those livers are right there in the front for each other, y'all. Both livers is in the front for y'all to hit. It's whoever's going to hit it first. And who's fast enough? Who's who's quicker in the inside? The man with the shorter arms or the man with the longer arms? Think now because you're um you're a fan of who? Who are you a fan of? Um Tank Davis. Like me, I like Tank Davis. Same size as Manny Pacquiao. But you put him on the ropes of anybody? I got Tank Davis. Arms are shorter and more compact with power. Play with me, man. Don't play with me. Because what's what's good for one, it's got to be good for the other. Listen, I got to go, man. I got to go. I got. It's it's the morning. I just had to get this out of my head. Um, I'm at work. I'm on the plantation. Whip. Cracking on my back. Got to go, man. Okay? Have a nice day. Be easy with that. Listen. Yeah, time and be speed, but how much time do you have? Later.